Today I'm going to show you how to install an F connector on a piece of coax cable. This is a compression type F connector. This is a thread on or twist on type F connector. And this is a crimp F connector to install an F connector on coax and you know th this type of connector can be used uh, for cable TV, satellite TV, so on and so forth. A lot of times you can go and you can buy these patch cords but in some cases you're going to want to make your own. One of the advantages that you have by making your own is you can make it at any length. If you're going to be installing these types what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple different types of tools. You're going to use a crimp type okay so I have we're gonna do a crimp connection we also have the compression type and then I'm just gonna show you the old hand method okay um, all these can be bought at you know Home Depot Lowe's any hardware store any electrical supplier um, you just have to know what type you're using and go get the right type connector or excuse me the right type tool to use First things first, let me show you how to strip it. How to strip the coax is probably one of the most important things because no matter whether you use the thread type, the compression type, or the um, crimp type, you're still gonna have to strip it the same way. So here, let me show you how to do that. Now you take a piece of, this is a piece of RG6, okay? RG6, good for 75 ohms, is more than enough to handle your cable TV or your satellite dish couple tools you're going to need in order to uh, to strip it. I'm going to need a razor knife. I'm going to use a regular standard pair of strippers. And you're going to want to use some side cutters. Now first things first. In order to expose, in order to expose the right amount of conductor what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to strip it. I'm going to explain it. I'll write in the description down below what the dimension should be, and then we'll go from there. Okay. So what I do is I take a pair of strippers. Now, pair of strippers that go up to number 10. What I like to do is I like to use that because even though this copper, inside copper, and I'll show you when I expose it, this inside copper is less than that. The nice thing is, is we're just cutting the dielectric around it and all the ground and foil that's involved in this. So what I like to do is I like to measure out, you know, with my finger. I like to go, I like to go a little bit long because remember, you can always cut it back. Once you commit, you can make it too short. So make it just a little bit longer. So I like to go about three quarters of an inch and I take the number 10 and I, I cut it. Okay, I don't cut all the way through. I cut it so that I can, and you can hear it, it's gonna make a little noise, okay? And it's gonna be cutting the inside braid, okay? Once I get all the way through, now all I have to do, just like stripping a wire, I just have to pull it off, just like so, okay? You got these little strands here, no big deal, we can cut those off, okay? So, now we've exposed the conductor. The next step that we're gonna do is we're gonna need to strip, the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna strip this jacket off. Now, I like to strip about 3 16 of an inch of this jacket off, not cutting into the braid or the foil or the dielectric. So what I do is I take my strippers and I open them up and then what I do is I press the cable down in and I just rotate it until I cut the rubber. Now, that's gonna expose the braid, okay? The braid we wanna save because this is like our hot conductor, speaking in electrical terms, and this is our ground. So we wanna make sure that we keep 
we don't want to we don't want to have any of these touching each other because we'll end up with a short. Okay. So what you're going to do, do is you're going to fan them down. Okay. Once I fan it down, you're going to see there's a little bit of a foil here, right? What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your razor knife. You're going to want to score and remove that foil. Don't cut too deep into the dielectric. Now you have this dielectric, which is an insulator, insulating you from the foil ground and the metal, uh, the copper conductor. So the first kind we're going to do is we're going to do a twist on. And a twist on, I don't know if you can see it, but it's threaded. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to fold the hairs back. Now you only want your hairs to be sticking down probably about a quarter of an inch. That's why we only stripped a quarter of an inch. And what you're going to do is, you can see that there's a little hole in here. You're going to slide the conductor through the hole, okay? And when you look inside, you're going to see that it's not touching all the way. Well, what you're going to do now is you're going to push and twist clockwise, just like you would be threading a bolt on, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to continue to crank and make it tight. Okay, so now we have twisted the connector on. When you look inside, you can see that the dielectric is just protruding past that inner ring. The copper conductor is a little high. Now, We've all had cable TV before. We all know what we're looking for. All we're looking to do is to take this copper conductor and we're just going to have it protrude past the sleeve. Okay, this is the threaded sleeve. So what I do is I like to go about an eighth of an inch past and I cut it. Okay. Now that I've done that, I give it a little bit of a tug, it doesn't come off, I'm good to go. That was simple, that was a twist on type. The next one I'm going to show you is the crimp type. Again, this all can be bought at Home Depot, Lowe's, or any electrical supply place. The crimp type F connector, it's got the same setup. Okay. What it does is it has a sleeve and an inner sleeve. Okay. So what we need to do is, we need to make sure our cable is stripped down, just like so, exactly the same way we just did the twist on. You're going to slide your conductor through, and then what you're going to do is you're going to press until you get that dielectric flush with that inner ring, just like we did with the... Um, with the twist on connector. Okay, so now that it's flush with the twist on connector, I'm gonna take my hand crimpers, okay? Again, you could buy it Home Depot, Lowe's, any supply house. Again, I'm not affiliated with any of them. Hopefully one of these days we will. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna crimp this section here, okay? So what you're gonna do is look at this tool, okay? You're going to see the different jaws, okay? One, uh, one is for a smaller cable, the other one's for an RG59, the other one's for an RG6. So this larger one is the one we're going to use for the RG6, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my connector, my, my connector like so, and I'm going to slide it and lay it into the jaws, okay? I don't want to be over top of where it's going to be, you know, where we're going to twist it on. You can see that it's just this area here. So when I slide the tool in, I hit that end, and then all I have to do is apply some pressure to it and then squeeze it. Once I squeeze it and take it apart, it's all set. Now 
now it's all set and we have a nice connection. Same thing, copper is a little bit tall. Clip the end and now we have a nice connection. Okay, the next type is a compression. Okay, the compression has a sleeve that slides. Okay, these are good for watertight connections. Okay, a lot of contractors now, cable companies and um, you know satellite companies, places like that, they're using these compression type because they can be used inside and out. Probably the best you can buy, a little bit more expensive, but these are the nice ones to use because they've got a nice watertight connection. You don't have to worry about corrosion. A little bit more of a pain in the butt. You need a different tool, okay? This tool here, basically you slide the connector in here, which I'll show you, you squeeze, it presses it, it slides the ring in, boom, gets it where it needs to be. Perfect connection every time. Again, same situation. Slide it in and make sure that that dielectric, it hits that outside ring, just like the last two that we've shown you. You're gonna wanna push and twist at the same time. You wanna make it to where it's flush. I don't know if you can see that very well, but I'm, I'm trying. Now that it's set, now, with the tool we're gonna to use, we're gonna to need to cut this first. So what I like to do is I like to cut them a little bit longer when I'm using the compression, okay? I cut it just a little bit longer than normal because what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this little unit right here, okay? Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna have, now, this part here, this threaded stud here is adjustable, so you're gonna to wanna to adjust it to the type of connector you have. You're gonna take your copper end and you're gonna slide it into the hole and slide it forward and you're gonna lay it in place and you're gonna see that these little things right here are actual stops, okay? What we're gonna do is now I'm gonna squeeze and as I squeeze, you're gonna see this sleeve get pressed all the way into the ferrule. Once it's pressed into the ferrule, you pop it out, you squeeze the ends, pop the wire out, and there you have a perfectly pressed, nice, tight compression seal. Now at this point, it's not, there's not a recommendation that you have to cut it down. You can cut it down if you want. Like I said, I like to keep it just a little bit past So I cut it, leave it. This way here, it doesn't hurt anybody. Okay, this was a very quick tutorial on how to install an F connector, the three different types of F connectors that we use, your twist on, your crimp, and your compression, all used for coax RG6. If you're using RG59, that's fine, but a lot of times, a lot of your systems aren't gonna wanna use the 59. The uh, ohm capability is not the greatest. Hope this video helped. If this video helped, give me a thumbs up. As always, this channel is growing very rapidly, so you know what, if you could do me a favor, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you have subscribed, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. We're growing every day. It's really helping. Do me a favor, leave me a comment down below if you do this kind of work, um, cable or satellite work, because I'd be interested to know how many of you guys are actually doing this stuff. If you've done it on a job, also let me know, hey, I've done it on a job. If you do it, if you have a different trick, and yes, by the way, I know there's a stripper out there that I can use, but what happens when I forget that stripper? That's why it's important you understand how to hook this stuff up. I'll leave in the description down below my measurements that I use um, to strip things, and then what I'll do is, um, you know, I'll look for your comments to see how you guys are making out. As always, have a great day and be safe.